After Albert Einstein died in 1955, something strange happened, his brain was secretly removed, and vanished. The pathologist who performed Einstein's autopsy, Dr. Thomas Harvey, removed his brain without proper permission. He claimed it was for scientific study, but instead of handing it over, he kept it, in jars, for decades. Harvey sliced the brain into 240 pieces, preserved them in celloidin, and mailed some to researchers across the world. He even drove across the U.S. with Einstein's brain in the trunk of his car. But did scientists discover anything special? Some studies claimed that Einstein had more glial cells which support neurons or unusual folds in the parietal lobe, the region linked to math and spatial reasoning. But many scientists say there's no real proof that these features explain his genius. The mystery of Einstein's brain raises big questions, can genius be measured? Should we even try? And perhaps most importantly, was it ethical? From a jar in a basement to labs and museums, the journey of Einstein's brain is a tale of obsession, curiosity, and controversy. Subscribe for more hidden stories that shaped our world.